Hello, welcome back to Property with Marco. Today I'll be talking about how I actually got into property. It's a question that I get asked all the time. Um, I'm only 30 years old, I know I look older, or, you know, I'm losing my hair, I know that, but bear with me. Um, I've got a multi-million pound property portfolio. I've got properties all over the north from single lets to flats, to blocks of flats, to land, to HMOs, etc. Uh, and today I'll be talking to you how I got into property. Um, so I want to talk about a couple of things and about really where it began when I was at university in 2010. I was doing some rough math and I just couldn't believe the revenue these landlords were making. And I, obviously at that point in my life, I had no idea about the costs and mortgages and those kind of sides. But I was looking at the income and I thought, well, even if I had a couple of those, I just wouldn't need to work. It would be it would replace the, the a, a solid income. Uh, and that's kind of what I got working to. Now, fast forward to 2015 when I moved back to Leeds and uh, handed my notice in with, at my FTSE 100 uh, role to start a property company and another company as well, which maybe will be mentioned in the channel uh, at some future date. But anyway, me and my best friend at the time, uh, we opened a property company. It was an online letting agency and we focused primarily on the HMO and young professional market and we were doing really well. Uh, we grew to a decent size. We had three employees. Uh, and everything was going rosy. So I got a lot of exposure to property firsthand through that company. And I was advising landlords on a daily basis about where to buy, what to buy, and I was doing all the figures for them and they would just pull the trigger. So I learned a hell of a lot during those couple of years. Now, unfortunately, I'm no longer part of that company. The tenancy fee ban was introduced, which really hampered our profitability. Uh, and I decided to walk away at that point. Unfortunately, there were redundancies and it was a real, real shame as we had a great business until this legislation came in. And I know a lot of letting agents really had a difficult time with it. Uh, but anyway, I learned lots from that company and I certainly wouldn't be where I would be today without it. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for the people that worked alongside me and worked for me during that time. Um, but anyway, I started investing into property at that similar point in my life. So I, was, I remember buying a HMO, buying some single lets, buying some a block of flats, buying some land, etc., etc. Now, I got into property almost the hard way. There are certainly a lot more easier ways to get into property now. I'd saved quite a bit of money up through my FTSE 100 job. Um, and through those savings, I was able to invest in property and take my first step, which was a great feeling when that actually happened. Um, and I also got a small family loan too, which was great. But this was the slow and painful route to do it. There are much faster ways to do it nowadays. Uh, and maybe if I'd had the confidence then to approach people with more money than I had, uh, I would be probably a bit further on my property journey. Gosh, that's scary, quite scary to think actually. Um, so that's how I got invested into property for exposure to the industry and putting my out there and learning the skill set the hard way. Uh, but also through saving money through the job that I had before I started the property company. Uh, and I took a, a small loan from my family as well. Now, I hope this kind of gives you a bit of insight on how to get started in property. Um, and, you know, I'm being very open and honest and transparent here about my introductions to property. But if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comments and I'll, I'll try my best to answer it. Um, there'll be lots more amazing videos about property and property investing uh, coming uh, over the duration of the next few days, weeks and months. And therefore, I kindly ask you to subscribe to this channel. It will really help me. Um, I'm not new to YouTube. I actually have a, another channel. I'm a private pilot as well. Uh, and I've got a channel, Fly With Marco, which has nearly had 100,000 views. So uh, I'm really grateful if you're transitioning over from my flying channel to my property channel. Um, and yeah, I'm grateful for everyone that's watching this video.